Hey, our cows, how are you? I have my phone sideways, so I'm like, it looks like I'm looking there. And I'm like, should I be looking there or there? Um, but anyway, I wanted to make a quick video for you guys because um, I feel a little bit of clarity right now in my business. Whoops, look at my makeup today. Um, I've been feeling so scattered lately, and I just got something in order that um, is giving me a little bit of clarity. Hey, Camila, look at this. My makeup is like all smeary and look a hot mess. But anyway, I'm going to make this quick, but I, um, over this weekend have just like decluttered my office and, um, trying to find something that works for me as far as like organizing my brain, keeping on top of like all of my customers, keeping on top of my hosts that I have, keeping, wait, where am I, you guys? Am I on Real Consultants? Please tell me this because I'm seeing people who are not on my team. Am I on my personal page? Because that would be really funny. I mean, I could totally give these tips to everybody right now, but I'm just saying, I want to make sure I'm on the right page because... <laughs> Can someone tell me I'm on my team page, please? Because that would be comical and a little embarrassing. Um, and I know that Facebook is lagging. Hey, aw, thank you, Camila. Yay, thank you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, whatever. I'll give tips to everybody if they want to see it. But anyway, um, so I, you know... Like, I have my follow-up binder where I keep track of my customers, and that, you know, that seems to work for me, but just a matter of, like, keeping tra track of my dream team members and keeping, wait, guys, are you sure I'm on my page? Because I'm, like, seeing people who are not on my page. I need to check this out myself. Hold on a second. I need to make sure that I am on the real console. Like, I believe you, but I'm just saying, you know, I just want to make sure I'm on my page. And why is my computer being stupid and slow? Um, but anyway, I have been... Where's my video? There we go. Okay. <laughs> anyway, all right. Back to the subject. So... I have been, um, like I said, just keeping on top of my host and my dream team members and just everything, my expenses, like everything in my business. I feel like there's always something that I'm trying to get done or need to think of. And um, I recently showed my planner that I was working on where I created like a scalable, scalable system to-do list in my planner, which has been working. Uh, so that's good. But the problem with my planner is that once I close it, I don't think about it. Like it's not unless I have it open looking at it, I'm not thinking about my planner. And there's, I write like my to-dos in there. Like I pretty much keep like everything that I need to do in my planner. Um, and since I've implemented the new weekly layout thing, like that's been working for me, but I need something like right in front of me. Cause if it's not in front of me, then I forget about it or it gets piled under things or whatever. Right. And so as your business grows, you think of all these things that you have to get done and like, we need to focus on what's going to be making us money, most importantly in this business. But it also is important that, you know, you're organized because no successful business, you guys, is able to run on chaos. I don't care if you're a direct seller, if you're network marketing, if you're a brick and mortar on the street. You need a system or a process in which you do things in your business in order to, to make sure that you continue doing them. And I've said this before, but it's like if you're starting any job, whether it's like reception or a cashier at the deli or whatever, right, a salesperson, when you, jo when you start that new job, they train you on how they do things. Like there's a process in which they do it. And I always relate this back to when I was working. Um, you know, I've done like lots of secretarial work. So all those like office skills and stuff like that, I now use in my business, which has been great in some ways, but in other ways, it's like trying to come up with those systems on my own is very difficult. But like when I was working, if I started a job, like there was a process, like I used to do patent trademark applications with the U.S. Patent Trademark Office. I was a legal secretary and there was a process in which I uploaded my applications. Like I would have to first have it signed off by the attorney. Then I'd make edits on the document. Then when he's done with it, then I'd upload it once I or before I upload it, I had to turn it into a PDF and before I put it in a PDF then I got to upload it like there was a way that I did it even if like like I said I've done reception like the way I answered the calls I'd pick up the call I'd say I'd answer it I'd say okay hold on let me transfer you to voicemail if they're not available then there's a way that I transfer them to voicemail or I transfer the call to the person or whatever right there's always a, a process in how you know, you do things in your business. So no matter how extreme the process is or no matter how 
simple the process is, there is a process. So there may be a process in the way you package your home parties, or there may be a process in the way you do your home parties, or you may find that, and these sometimes systems are things that you that you need to create on your own to make it work for you, or two, it's something that sort of just comes about because it's the way that you do things anyway. But no matter what, you find that you, you come into this repetitive notion of doing things in your business, right? So let's say it's, you know, following up with your customers, you have a, a certain way that you're doing that or the conversations you're having about people joining, when you're having those conversations, what are things that you're saying to, saying to them? So there's a process, right? No matter what it is in your business, no matter which way you want to dice it, there is a there needs to be a process in your business in how you do things. So for a very long time, I... Like, I'm always trying to find a new way of doing things. I'm always trying to, like, reinvent the wheel and create a new system and find something that works for me, okay? So what works for me may not work for you guys, but I want to show you what um, I implemented that is giving me a little bit more clarity. Now, I've told you about my follow-up binder before, so if you... If you're new to the follow-up binder and you never use it, just search follow-up binder on this team page and you will see all the information that comes up about follow-up binders with your customers. But that is just solely with my customers. I need to make sure I'm staying on top of all my mail outs that I have going on. I need to make sure that I'm staying on top of my expenses or the things that I need to get done on a daily basis. So I went on Amazon not too long ago and I um, made an investment, <laughs> just a few things. I got a few like office supplies to help me stay a little bit more organized in how I'm doing things. Okay, so the first thing that I got, I'm going to flip this around and show you. Um, I actually got this little basket here. It's inexpensive on Amazon and I had my husband put it up. So it's in and out. Anything, this obviously I have scent circles in here right now, but this is because the only reason why I have them in here is because these are thank you packages. I know I need to send out some thank you packages for my customers. So I'm just keeping the ones that I got to send just to give myself that, re that visual reminder when I'm sitting here at my desk, but it's right here at my desk where I'm sitting. So I can't miss it. And then here is, is anything that I'm going to be mailing. So I'm doing my very best to make sure that I'm not running to the post office every freaking day because I, I will do that if I'm out I'm like oh let me just stop at the post office or delivering orders or things like I, if it's a Tuesday I'll drop it off and I, you know if it's on the way to go pick up my son at school or then I'll do it on Friday like I'm a business owner like it's driving me crazy by doing that you know so I want to make sure like only Wednesdays are my days that I'm out dropping off orders or delivering the mail. So anything Monday, Tuesday that I'm, you know, let's say I'm sending out team mail or a thank you card, like all these send circles, once these go out, or once I package them, I'm gonna put them in here when they're ready to go, and then I can run to the post office or print them online and just drop them in the mailbox, right, on one day, making it simple, working smarter, not harder. So I have these here. This has been um, helpful for me to have them right here. I also wanna get two more because um, if you've guys seen my office before, I don't wanna show you now because it's a mess, but I have my mailing, like my packaging area where I package my orders, so I wanna put over there too, but I like having it here right by my desk okay also on my desk this is new what I've created but I it's been honestly so awesome now I wish my desk was bigger because I would put these two together but I have this and now I have this so I, this one is anything that's like has to do with mailing or make expenses like things like that like I would call this like my mail station my mail center okay um so here is I put follow-up now this can be anything like I actually had a customer reach out to me asking me um like she found me on sensi.com and she asked me if we had the scent winter pine anymore so I have been going through email correspondence with her for a couple days now about the scents but what I'm going to do is um I mean this is just an example but like I would print Print out that email and put it in here just a reminder so that I know I need to go follow up because sometimes you guys like we get so much spam we get so many emails and all this stuff that I forget to check my email like I'm a very like physical hands-on person I need to like physically see it work on it touch it in order to grasp it okay so if you're anything like me something like this might be beneficial for you but anything that I need to follow up on whether it's something for a customer 
or a team member or even like calling Sensi. Let's say I had a customer who need like a replacement. I might write that down on a piece of paper or maybe I'll have it in an email writing that we've had or a text message and I'll print it out and put it here so that I know on my days that I work on things for my customers, I could go to my follow-up folder and, and look on that and say, okay, what do I need to follow up on today for my customers or call Sensi or whatever. Um, anything that needs to be mailed out, it's pretty much, I guess, um, the same thing, um, depending on what the situation is for correspondence. But I put one here that I know like things that need to get mailed out. Maybe I might go to my order history and, um, you know, one day during the week print out any of my PWS orders so that I know those are people that I need to send packages to. Because see, the thing is, here's my follow-up binder. And this works for me, you guys. But I will tell you, with my follow-up binder, I actually need to... Um, I don't know if I could open it. Well, it's, it's a huge mess right now. I need to like revamp it. But the thing is with my follow-up binder, like I will follow up at a week, but then I forget to send the, the thank you package out. Why? Because it's here. It's closed and I'm not looking at it. And when I'm not working on it, it sits right there and then I forget it. I don't take it with me. And so I just feel very like I'm, I'm kind of get caught behind on my sending my thank you packages out. So that's why I put the visual there so I know they need to go out. But also... um you know, it gets caught in there. So that's why I, I figure um, the way I'm gonna utilize this is any of those mail outs, like thank you packages or things that I know that just need to get out, I'm gonna like print that out. And then on the day that I do that, I will take this folder out and go through anything that needs that. Um, this was just gonna be for like labels, like my address labels, contact labels, cause to be honest with you guys, like you'd be surprised how much I'm scared, like searching and scrounging for labels. Or if they're not printed out in that moment, I'm printing them out right there as I'm like getting ready to, you know, package an order or mail something out. Like I'm all, I'm printing out my labels in that moment. Like it's taking up so much of my time. So I have them printed out, but if you want to see some, this is so pathetic. Look at my drawer. These are all my labels. Anything, anything that I have labeled before, it's so bad. Like this is so bad. Like how can anybody run a business like this? This is not right, right? So that's why I want to, you know, organize it here so that I know, okay, when I need a label, I'm going to go here. And I got super like nerdy and bought a a uh, label maker. So this would be an investment. Um, I want to say it was like, I don't know. I want to say like maybe 30 bucks or something for this and you get the tape that comes with it. Um, but anyway, so it's an investment for sure, tax write-off, whatever, but it's, it's helping me because like I said, I'm visual. So I have a spot for my labels and then this would be anything that needs to be filed away. So whether it's a customer order form or a bill that I've paid or something, um, that I mean, that I know needs to go away. I'm just going to put that in there when I'm able to file it, I'll file it. Um, and then this here for my expenses, I use QuickBooks. It's a digital system. And then I also have like a tax binder too that I've used, but um, I'm kind of transitioning everything digitally so I don't have to keep writing stuff out each time. So that's why I have a folder that for there. And then this is all my digital order forms because again, you'd be surprised. I use this for my follow-up binder um, where I print out digital order forms. And I believe this is on the files tab, but I just made a copy of it and I put a label on it and I copied it. But again, each time I need to get an order form, I'm finding I'm printing it out over and over and over and over and over. So I just want to have them up, like bulk print them and just have them there so when I need them, I can just grab them, okay? Oh no, my battery's going to die. Let me run through this quick. Um, and then back here, I got these poly envelopes on Amazon. They're like 10 for, I don't know, I want to say eight dollars or something like that but any of my 2018 business receipts are gonna go in here and when I'm ready to like during you know at the end of the month like track them down or whatever and then um, just pull them from here and then reconcile them in QuickBooks or my tax binder and then these are my home uh, I have one for my home receipts so that's sort of like my mailing um, anything that needs to be mailed or or followed up on or something where I need to follow up on that correspondence or whatever is right there and then here um like I said look at my ceilings I hate it if I if the world were perfect I'd have normal ceilings and I'd have this together but I really don't have the space for it there so I have it here which is still right next to me um so that I'm able to see it every day so this is new and I will give you guys an update when I 
figure out what's working for me, but any of my current hosts are gonna go here. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I start to lose track of my hosts. I forget to follow up with them. And next thing you know, they're not inviting their guests. And then I'm wondering why my parties are flopping because I'm not staying on top of my host, you know? So the this is why I have this right here in front of me. I wanna have any current host happening this month. Um, I'm gonna create a paper for each one so that I can fill out her information and keep it in here. So that on the days that I go to follow up with my host, I can pull this out and say, okay, let me check in with Sally on her, po on her, you know, about her party and see if, if she's invited her guest or whatever. Then I also have a folder for all my dream team. Um, there's just like a paper in here and I've, it's just a list that I've had going for like my whole time I've been with Sensi. So, um, these files, you guys too, by the way, like these are all on our files tab, um, where you can, you know, or if you even create it yourself, something where you're keeping track of people, because if you're not keeping track of anybody who's ever had an, ex an interest in joining Sensi, you're going to lose track. You're going to forget and you're going to forget to follow up with them. And it's not up to them to remember to follow up with you. So I have a separate folder for anybody who's ever thought about joining. And then on the day when I'm like, oh, hey, let me check in with all my dream team members. I could pull out this folder and see who needs to be followed up with. When was the last time I had that conversation with them, etc. Um, I also started monthly subscription boxes. I'm doing them for the first time in April. So these are people who have paid and who um, anything like for the current month that I'm working on for my scent crate. Um, yeah. Okay, hold on one second. And then um, this is just a folder for anything like that's priority or to do. Now I do use a to do in my planner, like I just kind of write things down. But again, I'm trying to find something where it's visual and I see it every day. So I may put like a to do list, just like random notes or whatever, anything that needs to be done. Um, any current projects I'm working on, like things I want to create, like this is a new checklist for my new consultants. You can see I've scribbled all over it. But like I want to create like a whole new checklist for my new consultants and then I'll show that file with you guys so whatever just anything that I'm working on currently um, is gonna go here and then this one I have to change the folder because you can't see it um, but these are just ideas that I want to do things that I have going on in my business whether it's something to share with you guys whether it's a YouTube video whether it's something for my customers or anything that I want to do that I'm not currently working on yet is gonna go there so this is sort of like my project center um, my project slash like business center and then this is like my mailing follow-up center kind of like that um which is this is kind of follow-up too but you get what I'm saying like this is anything that needs to take action and then these are things that are like currently going on in my business so that's pretty much it you guys I just wanted to share that with you because I feel a lot more clarity um I'm a very scattered person like a lot of times people think I have my ish together and I don't um I'm very scattered so I'm always trying to find new ideas new ways to implement don't look at my mess back there and um, find things that work for me. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and all of that stuff I got on Amazon. Um, and yeah, if you just search, I could try and link the things that I found if anything, if that'll be helpful for you guys. But um, yeah, it's giving me some clarity and you need structure in your business um, in order to be success successful.